It's election time here at Mohawk, and for this episode of Utalk, the focus will be on one of the candidates for Applied Arts Director, and as someone that could directly affect the lives of students for years to come. This is her story. Originally from Venezuela and of Lebanese descent, Sibel el Kare was chased out of her country when she was just 18 years old because her father had been shot and her family threatened because of their political views. She fled to the United States where she thought she was going to have the opportunity to start a new life. But the racial prejudice against immigrants at the time was at an all-time high, and she only managed to stay there long enough to complete an intensive eight-month ESL program before claiming refugee status in Canada. That was just two and a half years ago. She has managed to keep her resolve on this journey and has taken many different paths to get where she is today, something she says she would never change. We caught up with Sibel regarding her history and what it took for her to get where she is today. Coming from another country without knowing anyone was really hard for me. But all the things that I went through to get me here where I am right now were necessary for me to succeed. I wouldn't change anything because everything that has happened has made me the person that I am today and I'm very proud of that. I think that coming from another culture will give me a different point of view of what I can do here. I can do things different and better, but at the same time, unique. Having previous experience with people from another culture helps me to make things different from students at Mohawk College, knowing now what it feels like to be one of them. What I'm going to do is give my best not to let students down. Ron Bins took a few moments out of his schedule to have a few words with us on what grabbed his attention about Seabell and why he thought she would make a good applied director of the arts. Uh, I first noticed Sybil in class. Uh, you couldn't help but miss Sybil. She's, uh, she's outgoing and she always expresses her opinion. She's, she's kind of thoughtful in that regard. She listens well and she contributes to uh, classroom discussions big time. Um, my sense of Sybil is that she's very respectful of faculty and students. I think she'll be a great representative on the MSA. Uh, as Applied Arts Director, uh, mostly because I think she's fair at the end of the day, she's really fair and she's involved and I think those are really important things. I think she'll make a great director. While not raised around many of Canada's diverse cultures, she has adapted more than anyone could ask of her in such a short time and her perseverance should be applauded. With elections only a month away, only time will tell where this particular path takes her. This is Chris Keyswetter for Mohawk News.